Hi, I'm John Beckett. Welcome to the Under the Ancient Oaks Beltane Ritual. Before we begin, I'd like to tell you what you need to know to participate where you are. You're welcome to simply follow along in the ritual, but if you'd like to participate, repeat the calls of hail and welcome and such. I've already lit the central fire, but when I make offerings to it, light your own candle. Pour offerings along with me. I'm offering whiskey. You offer what seems right to you. When we're done with the main working, we'll share a drink amongst ourselves. When we're done, be sure to dispose of the offerings in a respectful manner. Pouring on them on the ground is ideal. You may want to leave them on your altar for a day or two. Pouring them down the drain is not recommended. Our deity of the occasion is Cernunos. Cernunos is a very old god, and like many very old gods, there is little mythology surrounding him. His name appears only once on the Pillar of the Boatmen in France, which dates to the first century of the Common Era. The image of him on the pendant I wear and on this statue comes from the Gundestrup Cauldron from about the same time period. That image does not mention him by name. But what we cannot know from history, we can know from personal experience. From my experiences and the experiences of others, I know Cernunos as the Lord of the Animals, the Lord of the Hunt, and the God of the Wild. Who better to honor at Beltane? Let us now begin our celebration of Beltane. Let us now invite the spirits of the elements and the directions to join our circle. Spirits of the east, spirits of air, we call to you. Join our circle, we ask, and bless us with your wisdom. Help us to make wise choices in the days and weeks ahead. Spirits of the east and of air, hail and welcome. Spirits of the south, spirits of fire, we call to you. Join our circle, we ask, and bless us with your inspiration. Give us passion for the work that must be done. Spirits of the south and of fire, hail and welcome. Spirits of the west, spirits of water, we call to you. Join our circle, we ask, and bless us with your love. Teach us compassion for all in need. Spirits of the west and of water, Hail and welcome. Spirits of the North, spirits of Earth, we call to you. Join our circle, we ask, and bless us with your abundance. Grant us your steadfastness and your resilience. Spirits of the north and of earth, hail and welcome. I now invite you to light your own candle. This fire is the intersection of all times, all directions, and all worlds. It is united with flames lit around the country and around the world, and with flames that burn in the hearts of all those who celebrate Beltane with us tonight. We who cannot be together in body, join together in spirit at this sacred center. We make this offering that our journeys may be safe and fruitful.
spirits of the land, spirits of this place, spirits of all the places where we gather, we thank you for sharing this place with us. We ask your protection and blessings on this sacred rite that we may learn and grow in honor and in friendship. Accept this offering, we ask, given in hospitality and in love. Spirits of the land, hail and welcome. Ancestors of blood and ancestors of spirit, you who survived plagues and famines, wars and enslavement, ice ages and dark ages, because you survived, we have life. Because you lived, so can we. Accept this offering, we ask, given in hospitality and in love. Mighty ancestors, hail and welcome. Hail to the fair folk, those in the courts of the various monarchs, and those who are aligned with no one in this world or in the other. We honor you as our good neighbors. We make this offering in hospitality and respect that our sacred work may be successful and uninterrupted. Good neighbors, hail and welcome. Cernunus, Lord of the animals and Lord of the hunt, God of the forest and of green growing things, we ask you to join our circle and bless us with your presence. Great hunter and hunted, be welcome here. Teach us what we must learn so we can join you in the great work of this time and place. Let us run with you through the forest. Teach us again to be wild and free. Accept this offering we ask, given in hospitality and in love. Cernunus, hail and welcome. As polytheists, we sometimes debate whether our gods can be everywhere at once. What we don't debate is that they can be wherever they choose to be. We need not travel to a temple or to the top of Mount Olympus to speak with them. We can pray and make offerings wherever we are. Over the past year, we've met several deities here in this space. But there is something special about meeting the gods in their spaces. I've had some great experiences of the Morrigan in hotel ballrooms, but it was amazing to meet her in her home at Rathcrogan in Ireland. Kernunos is a god of wild places and there is something special about meeting him in the forest, in the streams, or even in the desert. And if we cannot travel to meet him there in body, we can journey to meet him there in spirit. I invite you to join me on a journey to meet Kernunos.
Hail Kernunos, Lord of the animals and Lord of the hunt, God of the forest and of green growing things. You came to us and joined us in our circle. Now we come to you. Speak to us, we ask. Speak words of knowledge that we may see things as they truly are. Speak words of wisdom that we may know how to respond. Speak words of inspiration that we may be moved to act. Great Kernunos, we ask that you speak to us. You speak, and so we listen. We listen from all the wild places where we are, whether in body or in spirit. Listen, listen, listen. Having heard, we must respond. Speak from your heart, but do not promise what you cannot or will not do. What do you say to Kernunos? Time spent here is a joy, but we must return to the ordinary world. Let us return home, keeping what we have seen and heard and done in our hearts. We have gathered together, we have invited our allies, we have made offerings, and we have journeyed to meet Kernunos. I now invite you to join me and them in a sip of whiskey or whatever you choose to drink. Let us now thank those who have aided us in our right. Kernunus, Lord of the animals and Lord of the hunt, we thank you for your presence and your blessings. May we always honor you in freedom and power. Hail and farewell. Mighty she, we are glad our work tonight went well. May there be peace and honor between us now and forever. Hail and farewell. Mighty ancestors, we thank you for your presence and your wisdom. May our time together renew and strengthen our connections across many generations and across many realms. Hail and farewell. Spirits of the land, spirits of all the places where we are, we thank you for your presence and your blessings. 
May there be honor and hospitality between us now and in the future. Hail and farewell. Spirits of the north, spirits of earth, spirits of the west, spirits of water, spirits of the south, spirits of fire, spirits of the east, spirits of air, we thank you for your presence and your blessings. Hail and farewell. As our fire dies down, we leave the sacred center and return fully to our homes around the world. But we know that as we have come together tonight, so we can come together in the future, even if we cannot gather around the same fire. Of all the Sabbaths on the modern pagan wheel of the year, Beltane is perhaps the most difficult to celebrate alone. I miss the Maypole dance, and I especially miss gathering with other pagans to celebrate the beginning of summer. We have reason to hope that we can celebrate in person again, again sometime soon, but for now, we celebrate together online. The rites of Beltane are now complete. May the blessings of Cronunos be with us now and always, and may we run with him wild and free. <laughs>